Well, right now we're in a season of a lot of uncertainties. And the more uncertainties there are, the more we tend to fear. I think that's true of all of us as we look at the landscape out in the world. Maybe for you, it's a job or a financial thing that's an uncertainty. Maybe it's how you're gonna pay the rent, how you're gonna feed your family. There's a lot of uncertainties right now, and maybe that is leading you to wonder how your needs will be met. It's a common thing that a lot of Americans are wrestling with right now. How will my needs be met in this season? How will I catch up on rent or mortgage? How will I provide food? There's all sorts of questions that we might have. And the last thing we want to hear is something that might sound trivial, like God will provide or God will take care of you. And you might be searching the Bible trying to figure out where exactly he promised that you'll never miss a meal. What I want to do today as we wrap up this series is to look at how we can find some certainty even when we're wandering through uncertain times. And I want to show you a section from the Israelites as they were wandering in the wilderness that teaches us how God provides, but something even much more important than that. God is actually much more than just your provider. And that comes across clear as he provides for the Israelites in their wandering. So we're about to actually go back to the beginning of their wandering. As they were just navigating this wilderness and how they were going to survive it, Moses brought up a very good question to God, like, how, are, how am I going to feed these people? Where is our food going to come from? And here's how God responded. He didn't respond by giving some angelic semi-trailer full of food every week or every month. But here's what God told Moses. This is in Exodus chapter 16. The Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they follow my instructions. Enough for that day only. And the chapter goes on to explain what to do on the Sabbath and how things will be a little bit different for that. But the, the whole idea behind this is that during their wandering, God didn't just give them semi-trailers full of food so that they would feel content for a while but God required them to daily wait on him. And for me, the cool part of this is just thinking about the story that went behind for them and for us, what it means that God has provided. I think of those Israelites during those 40 years, every morning having to depend on God to show up so that they could eat and so that they could stay alive. And I think of the stories that maybe they told someday to their children or grandchildren, people who on the tail end of those 40 years witnessed having to wait on God every single day. And what sort of stories do you think they told their children and their grandchildren? They'd probably tell stories like how they had to move around so much and things that they had to do to stay alive and maybe kings that they fought against. But there would always come this point in their story for those Israelites that they would think back and say, you know what, there was a lot of crazy things that happened during our wandering. But one of the most crazy things is that every day we depended on God to show up. And he did. And right now I'm wondering if that's how our stories are going to go also. Maybe someday your grandkids, your nephews, your nieces, they're going to come up to you and say, would you tell me the story of what happened in 2020? What was life like before the coronavirus? And what was it like going through that season? And no doubt you'll have lots of stories to tell of how you had to make some decisions. Maybe you changed careers. Maybe you had to move. Maybe you had to downsize. You'll have lots of things that go along with your story. And maybe as you're telling it, you'll just smile a little bit and say, you know what? There were so many uncertainties and I didn't know how I was going to be provided for. But every day I depended on God to show up. And he did. Life in the wandering is never easy. There are so many uncertainties that we have to deal with. And so many days we'd rather just go back to when things were different and times were better. But right now, the door to that is closed. We're in a place where we're not quite finished wandering, but we don't have to wonder where God is. He is right here with us. And the more we realize that, the more we will tell our story that, you know what? I depended on God to show up every day, and he did. Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this podcast. We at Time of Grace have so many resources to help you in your walk of faith. 
whether it's our TV program, to our written devotions, Grace Talks video devotions, to podcasts, to more podcasts, to still other podcasts, to our blog, to countless books. Uh, we're working as hard as we can to help you stay connected to Jesus and his amazing grace. If you're interested in connecting with God's word every day, just go to timeofgrace.org to sign up for our daily email. And may God bless you today.